Hello everybody. So we are close to 2300. Let's see if we manage to to reach um, this point. So we have a Chigger in defense. Mm. I have to admit I don't play this opening that much so I'm not totally sure what to play. I would like to play e5 and bishop b4 something like this but maybe I lose his pawn. Hmm. Let's do it anyways. Knight c3, bishop b4. Thing is, what happens if he takes here? Maybe I just exchange queens and claim that um, white's king is in the center and I can maybe attack him later on. Okay, here I wanted to play bishop b4 to pin the knight. Can't move. Yeah, here I think I'm fine because I will take. And my idea is to play against the isolated pawn on d4 later on. So here we have the typical isolated pawn, no pawn around it, so it's a little bit weak. And. Um, I want to avoid that he pushes a pawn, so maybe I play c6 even because after knight f6. Although I have knight e4, let's let's play knight f6 to develop and castle quickly. <coughs> after bishop g5, I play knight e4, double attack on on the bishop and the knight on c3. Yeah, we both have similar time. That's good news. Okay, so I think I take here. And now, what now? I think I just castle. Maybe he needs to stay with the king in the center anyways because Okay, king on the queen side. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of piece of pieces to attack him, but I can develop quickly. His advantage is uh, he has a bishop pair, but my advantage is I have some uh, uh, quicker development and no weaknesses at all. So maybe I play knight e4 even. I would like to open up this, uh, the queen side a little bit because the king might be a little bit in danger here. Okay, so he he says Well, okay, I attack it. Bishop e3. I have maybe knight e4 and then I take here later on. If he sacrifices the pawn, I take back. If he takes back on a7, I have rook a6 and can can win. Let's say he plays this, I play this, he plays here, I play here. He needs to move his bishop and then I can take this pawn. All right, let's grab this pawn. I like my knight here, so let's support the knight. He can't enter on the seventh rank, that's good news. Mm. I will exchange one pair of rooks, I guess. Should I? Yeah. And I need to play a little bit quicker, maybe.
If he takes on h7, I have g6, I thought. Hmm. I also have rook a, a, a uh, h8. But I think, I, well, I thought, um, well, now I even have, doesn't change that much, right? Let's take here. I thought I win this bishop here. I will play g6 next, king f6, king g7, and pick this up. Rook h5 is threatening. Hmm. And now I will play rook c8, rook h8, king g7. I just need to take care about my time. I don't have that much time left. But I don't see how he will get out here. F6, okay. Let's change the rooks. Well, he will never come out here, right? Eight seconds, that's a problem. If he doesn't exchange rooks, I have rook h4. Later on, I thought, okay. <laughs> wow, he locks in everything. He can't play h5, I take here. What else can I do? I thought I'd take here. Isn't this pawn very weak? Hmm. Rook here. I thought he plays rook a4. e4, I thought, sorry. Okay, now b5 maybe. Not sure if this was the best move here. So now I'm a pawn up. need to hurry. Maybe rook f5 next, just to kick the king out. Well, okay. Huh, I don't have time. Let's walk over to e7 and then I want to march with the, uh, the f-pawn. Isn't it that I'm quicker? Hmm. Maybe that's nothing. Maybe I'm lost. He takes. Am I quick enough? Not sure. Okay, I need to take. And then it's a draw. Yeah, interesting game. Hmm. I, I think I, I could have won, but I need to 
check it later. Thanks for watching.